Juliette Collet, who is, uh, whose job it is to tackle discrimination on behalf of Paris's Teaching Federation. Good morning to you. Thanks very Hi. much for coming in. Um, Thank you so much for having me. You've been working then to try and find ways to combat racism in schools. Tell us, first of all, what works and perhaps what doesn't work. Um, I think what works is uh, when you also um, uh, tackle racism and anti-Semitism um, with educators and teachers and uh, like youth uh, facilitators like we do in our association and organization um, because it's I think it's useless to tackle the problem only with kids only because uh, there is no kid uh, who's born uh, racist or uh, anti-semitic or anything else so um, what we are trying to do is um, is working on the source of the problem to say so um, and I think also that what works with kids is to um, continue to deconstruct stereotypes and also to listen to them, to believe them, to uh, take them into account. Um, always um, taking care of uh, kids that have been abused sometimes um, and never, never doubt their words because they are not uh, making up anything. Yeah, and as you say, of course, children aren't born racist, they're not mm -hmm. born uh, anti-Semitic, but this is a bit of a thorny issue, isn't it? Because are you then trying to tackle problems with parents perhaps being racist. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? Well, that's a problem. Um, and I think educators and teachers are not paid well enough to uh, educate both kids and parents. And um, I mean, not all parents are racist. Of course, that's not what I'm trying to say. But um, I don't think that's a very good idea to um, um, directly uh, talk about racism with parents um, because then it can create a kind of a confusion and uh, maybe um, um, parents rejecting school uh, because they are thinking and feeling maybe that school is trying to uh, double cross them in education. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we need to, uh, I mean, we educators need to uh, uh, focus on the, on, the, on the children and also on the, on the whole system. Um, I think maybe that's why uh, we have been a bit failing in uh, tackling this problem. I think we need to um, stop uh, pointing out uh, this one is racist or uh, this uh, group of people are, uh, is racist. I think we need to um, uh, take the problem in its uh, globality. So, uh, uh, and we need to do that. We need to um, take a deep look into ourselves uh, as French people, as educators, as um, people representing the government and working for the government. Uh, because there is much discrimination here. Uh, so maybe that's something we didn't do and we thought, okay, uh, everyone knows that now that racism is a bad thing. Uh, same with anti-Semitism, so it's okay. We don't need to work on it uh, anymore or maybe just with the kids. Uh, but I think it starts with deconstructing our own stereotypes and, and biases. Uh, which can be racist and we don't even know it sometimes. Indeed, and we have seen, obviously, in France in the past couple of months, particularly uh, virulent examples of anti-Semitism um, in public uh, on the fringes of Yellow Vest protests, um, for example. Um, have you, has your organisation noticed that racism is getting worse in schools kind of separately to that, or is there, do you think, not much link? Um, well, it's difficult for us to um, say some, something about it because we are not working as an uh, observatory. So we do not have uh, figures or statistics. And once again, I think we need to be careful when using um, uh, the notion of uh, there is a, a, a rise in, um, uh, in racism or uh, anti-Semitism uh, because I, I'm not sure, I cannot say, I'm no one to say there is um, much more racism or anti-Semitism than before. I'm, I'm not sure it's the case. Uh, we need to fight uh, this all the time and we need to talk about it. But as I said, I think we also need to uh, 
take the problem uh, in a much more global way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, thank you uh, very much indeed. Unfortunately, we will have to leave it there. Uh, but that is Juliette uh, Collet, who uh, is trying to tackle uh, the big task of racism and discrimination on behalf of Paris's uh, Teaching Federation. Thank you very thank you. much uh, indeed.